All right. I see Georg is dropping some open agenda items in. So I should say that uh, the that bit that you're adding in now, uh, I think it is already in here uh, down below on the uh, uh, the app ecosystem update area. Oh, I see. This document, Georg. Okay, then I'll remove it at the top. Oh, you don't have to remove it. I think it's useful to have it in the in the agenda minutes. It is. Kevin was just pointing out it's further down. Oh. Yeah, we have a we've got a basic structure we've adopted. Tell me, for tell the me how far to go. <laughs> oh, go, go back to the here. go back to the uh the common page. So we have a we have a basic structure that we've adopted in common. Uh, we start with open agenda items. Uh, and then we, uh, when we drop down to working group and context group liaison updates, that's where we jump through individual issues for uh, corporate app ecosystem, and so on and so forth. Got it. Uh, and then, at, and then at the bottom we have metrics in progress and so metrics that we're working on. Uh, so the the bit that Georg had just dropped in is already down here at in the app ecosystem section. Yeah, I saw it. Thank you. So, and we don't. Uh, uh, so the if there if there are any open agenda items that uh, that aren't in the list currently, please feel free to uh, to add them. Uh, the the second item on here is an open agenda item from last week, uh, discussing uh, how we as as common group working group uh, would like to basically select and track the metrics and models that we're working on, right? So this, this question is about how the metrics come into the working group, how we decide what metrics we want to work on, and then how we track those metrics Sorry in, in our group. I connected to campus Wi-Fi, so I was frozen for a minute. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, how much did Apparently you miss? I didn't take my internal Wi-Fi router at first, so I missed what you said. How much did you miss? Um, everything you just said, but I, I get the whole okay. process. So any open agenda items that anybody okay. brought up was disappearing. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, so the so the the second item is selecting and tracking metrics and models to the work uh, to working uh, to work on in common. So this was an open agenda item from last week that we're pulling in. Uh, this this agenda item is about. Kind of us as a working group deciding what we want our workflow to look like. Uh, so how do we how do we decide which metrics we want to work on? Uh, how do we decide uh, or what form should those metrics uh, take when they come into our working group? Like, do we want to have a a worksheet that we we fill out to bring it in? Do we want to have them fill out a template uh, when we get down to app ecosystem, you'll see that the app ecosystem group has kind of created a table describing uh, their metrics. Uh, with the, the format that they're using, is that how we'd like to bring the metrics in? Uh, and then additionally, how do we want to track the metrics within the common working group? So we do have a metrics spreadsheet. Uh, do we want to use that metric spreadsheet? And if we do want to use that metric spreadsheet, uh, are there edits that we need to make to that document that are common specific? Uh, so, so there's a, a lot of discussion around this. If you, uh, I did, I did kind of, I'm, I'm sure Matt will have some opinions on it. So I was, uh, which is why we pulled it into the uh, the next meeting. Uh, we can we can pull it into the the following meeting as well. But I would, uh, I would, if anyone would like to. Uh, uh, share some opinions. I mean, I guess my, my thought at this point is the metric spreadsheet is really good for keeping an inventory of all of the metrics that we might want to build. What it does less effectively, I think, is give us an agenda of specific metrics that we should be working on. And you know, I don't know if there's a way to signal things that we're actively working on more effectively than we are in that spreadsheet or if the common working group should maintain um, a rolling agenda of metrics that we're working on. 
Like, so that's my question because I think it, it's certainly unclear to me um, where the Q lives. I I agree, and that's that's exactly why uh, why I'd like to have this discussion. Uh, so maintain our own maintain our own documents. What was the last part of what you said there? Oh, just that it's unclear where the Q lives. Um, okay, yeah. You know, so there's a, if I look at the spreadsheet, the Q is infinite, but I have no way of identifying which ones are the highest priority for specific reasons. And um, priority. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. So, for example, I know that um, uh, God, his name just escapes me. The the person who's running the work group for OSPOs right now, Gary. Gary. Um, I know Gary has a metric model that he's proposed that requires a couple of new metrics. That would seem to me to be a couple of high priority metrics, right? So, um, how do we? How do we track that for ourselves? And I don't know, but maybe this is a, a question that the project management wisdom can inform us about, or Dawn, or you know. Yeah, I mean, I think it's, I think it'll just be up to this group since they're doing the work, um, and I think the project managers can help, like remove any blockers or you know keep things going or help distribute some of the work if we want to open issues or whatever to distribute the work a little better. Um, but I think as far as the workflow, I think it might be up to this group to just decide how, what works best for them. Okay. Let's say in the, in the past, in some of the working group, in some of the other working groups, we resisted using GitHub issues to track this uh, because it becomes, it becomes really unruly <laughs> with a, a giant list of, uh, metrics to work on in GitHub issues. But with our focus, uh, it might be, it might actually, it might work better for us if, if we're focused on metrics and model development at this point. So I mean, the, issues, the pro oh, no, go ahead. no, I was gonna say, I was gonna say that issues are certainly like a natural way to track stuff like this if, and I'm, but I don't, so right now, the things that are at the top of my mind would be the metrics associated with Gary's metric model. Um, and beyond that, like, I, I can't see that far. And, and the issue, like having them in an issue or having some kind of priority list would help us know what to work on other than novelty and recency. So I, I will say this with our, with the, uh, with the, the common meeting structure that we have we have created at the bottom of the uh at the bottom of the agenda, we always have a list of metrics in progress. So these are metrics that are actually being worked on. So, uh, so to a degree, that is a way of tracking. Oh, okay. All right. Well. Uh, so we can track the two that were these are the two that we are like officially working on in the group currently. So does the, so yeah, yeah I guess where does the Q live okay this is useful but, but we may have a list of metrics we we want to do we may have a list of metrics that uh, the working groups are wanting us to do so we 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 still it wouldn't be appropriate to track all of those in this document no uh, the agenda would get unwieldy after a very short time yeah and I don't think I don't think either of these are the ones that are necessary for Gary's metric model are they. Uh, no, so we haven't had a we haven't had an update from uh, that's the OSPO working group, right? Yeah. So if we if if you'd like to give the update for the OSPO working group today, uh, then then we can talk about that proposed metric and and maybe add it to our our metrics in progress. Uh, so so we've created the structure for those those liaison updates, uh, but we're still kind of figuring out what that looks like. And, uh, you know, because of sporadic attendance, we don't always have updates from all the working groups. So if uh, if you'd be if you'd be willing to give us an update for the OSPO working group, we could certainly pull that metric into our into our queue, I would, I would say. Yeah, I have to find, I'm looking for Gary's metric model right now. I don't know if anybody else has it at the ready. I don't, it hasn't been published yet. Oh, that's why I can't find it. <laughs> 
he's uh, he's going uh, to he's going to do a PR. Um, I think he was going to try to do it this week or next week. Okay. So that'll be coming soon. And then once we have the, I mean, I I guess I could probably find the Google Doc, but I think once we have the metrics model published, we can look at the three metrics that aren't defined and pull those into common as something that needs to be defined. Yeah, there was a there were two metrics that Matt and I discussed that needed to be developed. I'm gonna see if I can find my notes on that. I cannot. Okay, but I, I so this was a good discussion. Uh, I would say uh, I'd like to continue this discussion uh, in the next meeting, and hopefully Matt can join us because I I am sure he will have some thoughts on this as well. Uh, but let's. Let's table this one for now, and uh, we can move on to the uh, the working group and, and context group uh, updates uh, if the, if there are any. Uh, I don't. Uh, uh, we do have one liaison here. It looks like Sean. Are you a liaison? Oh, I'm sorry. Two liaisons. Uh, mm -hmm both for the university and scientific software. Is there is there an update for that working group or for that for that context group? The only update I would have, and I would welcome other updates from different perspectives, is that this we've just had our first meeting merging these two groups. And that meeting happened um, sort of in a hybrid format where we had a bunch of university OSPO people uh, in a room at OSSEU and then some of us on Zoom. So, um, and I know Don was there in the room. And so there was, it was just, uh, we didn't even keep notes, honestly. We were just sort of level setting the expectations for the group um, with, with the good population of folks there in uh, Bilbao. Okay. I don't know if you have any perspective to add on that, Don, since you were in the room. No, it was um, because part of it is that Sustain is also spinning up an academic or um, university working group under the Sustain project, which their goals are a little bit different. Mm -hmm. um, they don't have the metrics focus that we do. So a lot of that conversation that we had was um, talking about what, what they're doing, uh, what we're doing, how we can make those connections. So it was almost more of kind of a, uh, get to know you, what do we need to do next sort of meeting, but there wasn't any discussion of metrics. Okay. Uh, Sean, did you want to, did you want to introduce the, that metric from corporate, from the OSPO working group, or do you want to? Uh... I, I don't, yeah, we'll have to wait for Gary to publish it. Um, okay. Or make it available because I actually don't have it. I don't have it in front of me right now, sadly. Yeah, so that might okay. actually come in through the metrics model working group because it's the the metrics are three missing metrics from the metrics models he's developing. Okay. Okay. Uh, if that's then we can jump down to uh, app ecosystem and I see that uh, Eric did post a uh, document for us. Uh, did we want to talk about possibly having a liaison to that group or a couple of liaisons? Georg, would you be interested in being a liaison to that group? For the data science working group or the, yeah, the app ecosystem? ecosystem? App ecosystem, so, yeah. Mary Blessing was interested in doing that. Oh, excellent. Um, I don't know if Mary comes to these meetings occasionally, regularly or not. Uh, I think she's been here before. Uh, if she, she is a liaison, before. we would uh, there would be an expectation of her coming uh, semi regularly, I suppose. Every once in a blue moon, at least. Mm -hmm. All right, should we talk about university and scientific software? If there's any, I guess we kind of did that at the ecosystem. So before, we, before we move on, can we talk about this? I provided. Mm -hmm. 
um, or what we created. So the do you want to share your screen is, here, or do you want me to just share this? No, this is fine. The the background is that in the App Ecosystem Working Group we started. Oh, what was it? Two years ago, three years ago. Um, on creating metrics for GNOME and KDE, the app, app ecosystems. Um, and we defined this in the context of, or for the user of event organizers. And so we created these metrics, we published them, but we never brought them back into the chaos published metrics. We also did not check whether chaos published metrics could be used instead of the metrics that we defined. And by providing this table, we're hoping to close that gap and bridge between what is official chaos metrics and what we did in the app ecosystem working group. And for some, <clears throat> some of these metrics, it might be appropriate to define them fully and publish them. And for others, it might be that there is a different chaos metric that is more insightful, or we say, hey, this isn't really a metric, or it's just a filter on a metric, or whatever. So moving from the context that we've been in into more formal chaos defined metrics. I guess um, the titles, are these intended to potentially map to metrics? Um, I'm trying to, I'm trying to digest the, the scheme here. So there's a title and description. So, um, I think, I think these are getting at. And, and I can't remember where I had this conversation this week, but some of these things seem to be getting at the impact of events. So there's a distinction between corporate marketing and lead follow-up and the effect of an event on a community. And many of these, on the first page at least, seem to be aimed at that objective. Is that fair? Yep, there's that objective and we can, I can add a link here um, at the top. So if you look at that document. Should I open that? Yeah, we can look at that together. Then you can see that context better where we have event organizers and follow the Goal question metric approach, we have these three high, four high level goals. And then for each goal, we go in and define metrics to support that. And so that's where everything you see in the table came from. Okay. Copied out of this slide deck. The the second and fourth pages of the document are all are all basically event event metrics as well. So so it looks like the uh, the first first two pages or first page and a half looks like measuring kind of project activity in relationship to events, and then the the last two pages it looks like they are more about measuring the events themselves. Yeah, fair enough. And you can take the role of gatekeeper and say, hey, these event metrics are nice, but they're not project health metrics that we care about in chaos. And that's fine. Well, I think, and I can't remember who else was in these discussions, but I think some of the folks on the call were, I, I think to the extent that these questions get at uh, the, the impact of an event on a community, then I think there's a broader interest than just the app ecosystem working group within chaos to pursue these kinds of measures. Um, and so there's probably a model here as well. Like the, certainly, yeah, because there's some <laughs> metrics. Yeah. But, but the, the model would be the, the impact of the impact of event on impact of event on community. Right. 
Yeah. Could okay. Be a model, and we could pick out three or four metrics that are maybe most show that impact. Yep. I just noticed in chat that um, Elizabeth, I think it's Elizabeth who is Chaos Community said that um, it was in the data science meeting yesterday that Brian Prophet brought these forward. And I think Brian and Don conceptual, but now I'm remembering this. Yeah. Brian and Don conceptualized this kind of measure of impact of an event on a community, um, which is where I think this first page kind of lives. So I think it's adjacent to or relevant for that question. So maybe from a, as far as a common working group, uh, maybe that's maybe that's how we want to begin to bring this into uh, into the common working group. Let's maybe let's let's propose a a three to four metric model impact of event on a community, and uh, maybe we. We we try to try try to build it based on some of these metrics that are in here, uh, and then we uh, and then we can define the metrics as well. I like that we were thinking about proposing metric models also from App Ecosystem, but the template for the metric model says include a link to the published metric on the Chaos website, and so we said okay, first we need to get you these metrics before we go that step of creating a metric model, but maybe it can be done in either direction. Yeah, I don't think anyone else is following those guidelines. <laughs> so I think I think there are, are, are many models that have unpublished metrics in them currently. All right, um, I have, one more minute before I need to. So, jump. so Georg, do you want do you want us to propose a model, or do you want to go back to the working group and come back with a proposed model? And uh, we could give feedback and maybe start working on metrics definitions. Um, if if there, it sounds like there's also conversation in the data science working group with Brian Profit, and you're much more in tune with creating metric models. If you can maybe draft something, I'd be happy to look at that in the app ecosystem working group, um, rather than us trying to stumble through creating a metric model, because I've not been part of any of those conversations. Don, did we walk out of the working group meeting yesterday with an action item around this, or did we just talk about it? I don't remember. Um, I think that Brian was going to look at creating a metrics model okay. um, for for the metrics that that he's been talking about. Okay. So I think that um, while we talked about it in the data science working group, I would actually expect those metrics to come into common through the metrics model working group. Okay. So. Um... Well, thank you for taking these metrics. Um, let me know what, right now I'm, I'm passing these on to you and, or to the common working group and I'll wait to hear back. Okay, I think it might, in regards to that full list of metrics, uh, as, you, as you heard in the beginning of the, uh, the meeting, we're still trying to figure out how we want to uh, track the work we're doing and and kind of prioritize that work as well so uh but we have that list so we have that list that we can add to our queue once we've uh once we figured out what that mechanism looks like sounds good thank you thank have you a good day everyone uh so i i did add the uh the impact of event on community model to the uh our metrics in progress because it sounds like there's there's interest coming from multiple places uh did you uh, jump down here, Kevin? What's that? Did yeah, that's what, I, that's what I just okay. that's what I just jumped down to. So okay. uh, we can we can continue this discussion, and we can if we want to, we can wait and see if something's going to come in uh, from Brian uh, or uh, uh, it's uh, it would be a model. Uh, I mean, I I'd be in favor of working on it in the model in community in uh, in the common working group too, if. Uh, 
if, if others are interested as well. Uh, but we can we can wait and see if uh, if it comes in from uh, from the data science working group as well. So, I mean, my my rough sense of the flow is that we metrics right now it seems metrics models are being thought about, and if there's a missing metric, then it seems to flow into the common working group. That's mm -hmm. So in the in the scope that we've discussed in the past, we we do have the uh, it is part of our purview to create models if we want to or create models based yeah, on I, discussions in other working groups. Uh, I know there the metrics model working group is another place where that happens, and I think the data science working group is another place where that would happen as well. Mm -hmm. uh, so if it uh, if it makes sense to have have it happen in in either of those two places over common, that's fine. Uh, but I don't think we shouldn't be afraid to to dig into models here. So yeah, moving back up the agenda, I I okay, I was I missed half the metric model working group. I don't know if anyone else has an update to provide. I was I was there. We talked a lot about um, the open open uh, Euler, Euler community. Um, whoops, uh, I was just going to look at the, oops, the notes. And we talked a lot about OSSEU. Yeah, there weren't any metrics that we need to talk about other than we talked about uh, doing the PR for the viability stuff. But we already talked about that. Okay. And that's the, that's Gary's stuff. Yeah. I don't know. If, I, I mean, I, I think we probably talked about the key items from data science in the previous discussion, but I don't know if there's anything else I'm not thinking of right now. No, I think that's that's probably good for the data science working group. The only thing to mention is that we're, because of conferences and the U.S. Thanksgiving holiday, we're actually not going to have any data science working group meetings from uh, in October or November. We're going to yep. pick back up on December 6th. And then pick back up again in January. Exactly. Um, now, I would just like to mention that we have spent 30 minutes talking about updates from the other groups. Mm -hmm. I think I think we need to figure out a better way to do this because we're never going to develop any metrics in this meeting if we kind of keep this this format, I think. Yeah, I, I concur. So I don't, I don't know what to do, but it just feels like this isn't. I think we should probably have this queue of metrics that we're working on um, at the top of the agenda so that we do that first. It's like eat your roast beef before you eat your pudding. Uh, so I'm not sure what the... Uh, uh, so I mean, I, in, in a community meeting, I'm not sure how many metrics we want to actually actively jump through. Uh, uh, I, in my mind, it would maybe be kind of the, maybe one, one a meeting, maybe two a meeting, and then, then we, we have action items to work on the, those, uh, those metrics and models outside of the meetings. I, mean, I would, uh, I mean, personally, and everybody can have their own view. I would rather work on metrics for a half an hour than take updates for a half an hour. Like mm -hmm. if I was to balance the time we spend here. Okay. That's so, I mean, we, we could take, we could just take updates in the form of text maybe then. And if the, if, it, if we need clarification on those updates, then we could talk to them, for example. So the, the, uh, those working group and context group liaison updates are there. Uh, if you are the liaison, you can drop in the relevant information, or we or you can just uh, put an NA there if there if there is no update. Uh, and then going back to the meeting we had last week, the updates should be the updates should be metrics or models focused. Uh, so we don't we don't need 
we don't need kind of general community updates for those groups. We need we would like updates on what metrics they would like us to uh, to work on, or if there are any action items we can take from those working groups in regards to metrics or models. So I suppose we could those updates we could just take in text form, and then we could dig into them if they're uh, if there's something that we need to uh, to understand a little bit deeper. I think that's a good idea. I agree. So I don't think uh, I mean so. The, and the app ecosystem working group they had a they had a large document to show us so I don't think that was wasted time uh, yeah that probably fell under the heading of metrics but um, so with the rest of the meeting today do we want to dive into second contributions and see how far along this is maybe work on it a little bit this one should be pretty close to being done I forget what the uh, no. Yeah, let's take a peek at it. I think this one is really close, though. And then the the other one, backlog management. Uh, we'd like to get feedback from uh, uh, someone from Baturgia, I think. Oh, and actually, uh, feedback from you as well. So it might actually make sense to look at the backlog management index one. Uh, you when I say you, I mean you, Sean. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I, I actually figured that out because the world is centered on me. Yeah, my world. <laughs> uh, so we had worked on we had worked on this one last week, I believe, during the meeting. Do we want to pause the recording while we're taking a look at this? I think we've landed on. Did we keep it running yesterday, Elizabeth, when we did metric work? Yeah, yeah we did. Because sometimes yeah. actual conversations crop up. So yeah, that's that's the thing. The minute we turn it off, there's a conversation we wish we'd recorded. So for those of you watching at home, you can speed through this if you're not interested, but you might miss something. Yeah, do we want to spend like five minutes on this metric? Yeah. I just dropped it in the chat for convenience. Don, this arrives, this this kind of emerged from work that you did when you were at VMware, didn't it? Like, no? No, uh -uh. this emerged. Um, I, I filed an issue because I read a blog post that uh, Luis from Baturgia had written, and one of the metrics in it was this backlog management um, mm -hmm. index. And I realized that we didn't really have a metric for it, even though it's in the Grimoire Lab software. So yeah. I filed an issue and said, hey, we should we should define this thing. Okay. And All then right. I think the conversation that we had in the last meeting when we talked about it was whether or not uh, Augur has implemented something like this. And if so, do we have any visualizations that we need to add from Augur? Yeah, we don't have, um, obviously we have all the core data that would feed a backlog index, but we don't have a metric built out for the backlog index. We We certainly... And we certainly could take that on in the API development work that is coming coming next week. So, cool. but it does not exist today. I think the, the other the other discussion was around uh, are these separate are these separate issues for uh, pull requests versus issues? So I think initially when this was brought in, it was including it was including issues and pull requests. I mean, the data around those two objects is very different. 
Yeah, I think that's part of why we sort of landed on maybe just start with issues and then see if we want to develop one for pull requests because it, they, yeah, they seemed different once we started digging into it. Yeah, and I mean, I think you, I mean, you know, Don, I'm sure, and others know that the, the data around like how pull requests progress is real different than how issues progress. Mm -hmm. um, it it might be helpful to explicitly say that here in this metric mm -hmm. because I also had the same question. I'm sure others might as well as they're if they're reading. So we might just want to explain why we've focused only on issues here and just kind of clarify that. I don't know. What do you think? I think making it explicit in a sentence in the description is probably useful. It does look like the official title includes the word issue. Um, I missed that before. Okay. But the, I just updated the document name so that it's more clear when we open the document. Yeah, I think we edited we edited that last week. I think we added mm -hmm. issue to the name last week. Yeah, because in the Baturgia software, it's just backlog management index, but the, the measurement is, is issues. I put a sentence in there. Yeah, this one looks more baked than the first one. <clears throat> I do like that, though. It just explicitly says we acknowledge that there is a difference. We didn't just leave it out on accident. We aren't dumb. We're just specific. Yeah, and then if we do develop that other metric, we can put it as a, a related metric. Uh, what's What's our... What's our terminology for merge requests? I think right merge here. requests is the is the metric word in chaos, isn't it? I think it's change request. Change, that's right. That's right. Correct. You're right. Okay, Kevin's got that. So are you going to create a link there? Of course, whenever I see BMI, BMI, all I can think of is body mass index, but I know that's not what we're talking about. <laughs> I mean, this I mean, this seems kind of done, honestly. Yeah, I think I think it was. Uh, I mean, this is the one that I was I was thinking was almost done. We just wanted to get feedback from from you and uh, uh, the Turgia. Yeah, I mean, I think I think this looks pretty. You no, know, trying to think of our process. I mean, I don't know what I would add to it other than I suppose at some point in the future when Augur implements this metric, we can include that. But it doesn't today, so we don't need to hold up the train for that. And just to clarify, we don't care how long it takes, like the defect resolution time, it does not matter here. We just want, we're just con concerned with the overall numbers and the overall ratio. Is that? Yeah, I think my impression is this is about, are you keeping up? Okay. So even if you get 
if you don't resolve something, it takes you a year to resolve something, as long as you didn't have anything new that came in in that year, it would be okay. Uh, right? I mean, that's what we're saying. I think, yeah, I think that, uh, for example, if like a critical issue came in and it didn't get resolved for a year, this isn't the metric that's going to expose okay. that. Okay. It, it's the defect <laughs> resolution time or one of the others. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I, I, I don't know, I suppose I propose that we take the next step to publish this metric if nobody disagrees. We have three minutes left, so we have three minutes to hem and haw. I think that makes sense. Um, can somebody remind me what is the current next step? I know we aren't doing like bulk releases. We're doing them as we go. So does this go through a review cycle or what's our, I, I'm actually a little bit in, I just, I'm not sure what our process is once we get to this point right now. Uh, so we've, we haven't, uh, uh, I don't know that we actually have a process outlined. We've talked a little bit about using common. Uh, if we're using common as the, uh, the mechanism to release the metric, then the way that we would, what we would do is we would take it, uh, put in the PR and basically present it back to the relevant working groups or to the community for feedback. Okay. Uh, but, uh, but, uh, but that feedback process would be more, uh, it's not really formal. It's more, we, we do the pull request and then we contact the, the, the working group that it came from or the context group that it came from and we present it back to them for feedback uh or in the case of if it's a metric that uh doesn't have a uh uh doesn't have uh, a specific context group we could present it back to community the community working group for for feedback right. so um so does somebody want to take an action item to do a pull request for this metric the person who wrote it should do the pull request. So okay. that was uh, Vinod, I think. Vinod, okay. Um, so message Vinod that this is ready for publication and if he could do a pull request for it. Uh, I'd, actually, I'd actually like to hold off. I'm gonna, I wanna edit the description. Okay. So about half of what's in that description probably belongs in the objective. Uh, and I think the I think the description needs kind of a it needs to kind of explicitly say what we're measuring. Uh, so I'm I'd like to add a sentence or two to that. So I I just I'll take an action item action to edit, edit the description. Friend. Okay, <laughs> you're good to go. Uh, left. So any other business? Uh, I think that's I think that's it. Uh, in regards to the uh, going back to our, our discussion about how we want to do these updates, uh, I put some text in that does say metrics and model updates only. I don't know how do we want to direct. We want to put some. I think direction. I was taking notes on the wrong week. <laughs> Jeez. What's that's, that? That's I was taking notes on the wrong week. But uh, action item, Kevin. I'm just gonna. Cut, cut and paste this. Ah. All right, no, that exists. And I think for the next meeting, I'm just gonna move these metrics in progress up to the top of the agenda um, so that we do them first. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, we can change the order. Yeah. Okay, I think, uh, thank you everybody. Uh, what kind of What kind of directions? Never mind. Okay. I would just say with the uh with those updates, we uh we end up having to explain how those updates work every every time the uh every meeting. I'm wondering if we can create a way of uh like this is how we're doing the updates so we don't have to go through it every time. Um so uh, I guess we'll just say um I'll just put like a meeting protocol note up here. Yeah. yeah Work on metrics first. Use remainder of time for brief updates.
No, we want the updates in no. text. That's what we need to tell people that we want updates, them to write updates in text. Yeah. Because Provide if you let us talk, the then we're going to use all the yeah. time to talk. Okay. All right. So updates in text. And the other thing is the updates are only in regards to metrics and models. So we don't need community updates. It's just metrics and model updates. And what we should probably get in the habit of doing is when, when I'm in a data science working group or an OSPO working group um, meeting, we should have the liaisons just drop that update into the common, the next common working group meeting agenda so that we don't yeah. forget and not think about it later. So we should probably get better about being more diligent about that in the other working groups. And basically that update would look like we discussed this metric or mm -hmm. we discussed this model and it includes these metrics uh, and, and maybe include if there's an action item for the common working group around that metric or model. Yeah. yeah. All right, I'm I'm putting it at the top and okay to remind us here. Uh, and I'll actually, put it. Here. I'll take a I'll take a peek at that as well before the next meeting. Uh, just to, but yeah, I, I like having that meeting protocol note at the top. So, uh, okay. Thank all you right. all. Thanks everybody. Bye everybody.